Gently push the cuticle with the cuticle pusher. Remove all the dead tissue, paying close attention to the lateral walls. Remove the shine of the nail bed with the 180 grit buffer or file. Remove the dust off the nails using a nail brush. Using a lint-free wipe, thoroughly cleanse and dehydrate the nail. In this video we are using Entity's Nail Prep. Apply an acid-free primer. Thinly apply base coat. Base coat is applied very thin not to create excessive thickness. It is good if a client has manicure done a couple days before their gel polish is applied. If manicure is done on the same day, it is better to perform any kind of dry manicure with minimum usage of water. Cure for the recommended time. Apply a first thin coat of color. Pay close attention to the cuticle line and free edge. Because some dark colors can pull away from the cuticle and free edge, make sure to apply it thin and even. Cure for the recommended time. Apply second coat of color. The second coat will provide the depth of color and will fix any unevenness that could occur with the first coat application. To ensure an even application, your brush has to lay flat on the nail. Seal the free edge and cure for the recommended time. Remember that dark colors may require a longer cure. After color, apply top coat. This kind of design will require that the top coat is applied twice. Make sure to cure between each coat. After the second layer of the top coat is cured, remove the inhibition layer with the nail prep.
To create the math effect, you will need a buffer. Use the buffer of a 180 grid or higher. With the buffer, remove the shine of the nails. Wipe the dust off the nails with the nail prep. This technique will help you create the matte effect without using any matte top coat. You can leave the nails as is at this point, but we are going to go a little bit further and create a beautiful shiny tip at the end of the nail. For this design you can use any color of the foil, silver, gold, or like today we are going to use the red foil. Using a small detailing brush and a black gel paint or gel polish, create a tip at the end of the free edge. In this kind of design, it is preferable that you make a line as straight as possible. Cure for one minute. Do not remove the sticky layer. Take a small piece of the red foil and lay it on your design with the matte side down. Press firmly to the nail, covering the whole design. After that, remove the foil quickly. Do not remove the sticky layer. Take a small piece of foil and put it with the mat side down. Press gently, covering the whole design. After that, remove the foil quickly. With the nail prep, you can remove the foil that got transferred on the skin or on the parts of the nail where you did not need it. Do not forget to seal the part where the foil was transferred. Apply top coat covering the foil but not the whole nail. Cure in the lamp for the recommended time. With the nail prep, remove the sticky layer off the top coat. 
this kind of design does not make your free edge look thicker than the rest of the nail. The nails look beautiful and even. Gently apply cuticle oil on the surrounding skin. Once again, wipe the nails with the nail prep so that the matte effect can show.